Welcome back, my loves, to the story behind the story. I am Sierra Melker of Red Thread Publishing. We are here to celebrate women stepping up to tell their stories, write their books, and bring their general awesomeness to the world. It is my pleasure to welcome back Sarah Quinn, author extraordinaire. We are here partially just to talk about how amazing she is, but mostly to celebrate her third book coming out this year, Holy on Fire, Mama. Welcome back to the podcast. Introduce yourself. If Tell us how amazing you are, and let's talk about all of the books that you've been birthing this year. That Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and, and just connecting with you, know, you and the women in your community. I've had a chance to chat with some of the women around the community, and it's just been such high energy and such like not even just the high energy, but just the transparency of let's be real. Let's tell our story. Let's get the message out to the world, whether it's like the personal side or the professional side. And so it's been really, really incredible. So I really appreciate being here. And uh, I cannot believe that book number three is out. Book number four is done. The series, you know, Quit Fucking Around has just been so raw and so honest. Some of it is like, let's work your shit out, ladies. Some of it is like, I'm going to have to sit back and laugh at myself for a moment because, oh my gosh, Sarah, I'm doing all those things you said I shouldn't be doing. And some of it is like that thought provoking, like, hey, wait a minute. Like, where do I go next from here? What's that next right move? And so it's been a really, really incredible series to work on just because I'm noticing that the women who are reading it and, and a couple men are really coming at me from all different kinds of like transformation. And so, you know, I'm particularly loving the people who are laughing at themselves going like, oops, <laughs> I'm doing that. And hey, wait a minute, now it makes sense why I shouldn't. So yeah, it's, it's been really incredible. So I know who you are. And if somebody who's been watching the podcast on the regular, they've seen you before, what's your authority marketing statement who are you what brilliance what are these books about and why are these books an extension of what you already do how are these books helping your clients helping you connect with future clients and really that transformation that you're talking about how are these books serving that larger transformation for your audience and for you personally professionally yeah absolutely i love that you mentioned this extension piece so I come from a 15 year marketing background. And so I'm starting to feel like I should be subtracting years off of that, starting to tell my age. But I come from this, you know, 15 years of working in the marketing world and, and kind of the first 14 years of it, or rather really the first 10 years of it was working in building companies. And it wasn't what I ever intended. It was supposed to be, let's come in and market your company the problem was, was that most businesses, they don't really know what they're doing. <laughs> and so there's this, I can market your business, but if you don't know how to do sales and you don't know how to do these things. And so I thought there's got to be a piece in here where marketing and sales really marry together and where we can bring sales opportunities to people and they don't really have to sell in that traditional I hate to say car salesman sense, but that's what everyone understands. That traditional like, here, let me sell you piece. There's got to be a space where people get so, I'm going to say it, get so fucking excited about who you are, what you do, and how they perceive that you can help them, that they just raise their hand and they say, hey, like, give me what you've got. And so I work in the authority marketing space coaching you know other coaches and entrepreneurs in how to become authority figures essentially how to get their audience to say hi i'm your potential client like look at me pay attention to me give me your link sign me up get me on a call yeah. instead of entrepreneurs or coaches going out there and chasing leads and so really getting that positioning of i'm an expert at this i'm the go-to person and that is such 
a flip in both perception, but also like the interaction and, and the, the whole business of business. It's like, instead of, you know, and I, I never really learned from beginning to end business, but I was like, I have something that I want to bring to people. And in the beginning, I will admit that I went about it all the wrong ways for a number of years. And, and so I'm so excited about all of the books that you're bringing and all of the work that you do um, because, so like personally, professionally, but also as your publisher and supporting you in this whole process, bringing these books to fruition, I've gotten to be behind the scenes and hearing from your readers, even, you know, like the advanced readers, people who are getting like a, a taster and they're like, oh my God, when is this book coming? Because I need this. Yeah. And what, what you're creating for yourself is also what you teach, right? Yes. So you're practicing what you know, modeling what you know, and then through these books, you're, I, I love books because I think <laughs> I want everybody to have access to the best. And yep. I'm also a pr like very practical and recognize that not everybody can afford to hire you as their private coach at the beginning. And, and the mistakes that I know I was making for years, if I could have had access to your books when I started my businesses, I would have shifted my money mindset faster. I would have changed how I show up on social media. Oh my God, a thousand percent years ago. I have shifted because we've worked together and I've learned it and I've read your books, <laughs> but I, but I having like learned alongside you, I've watched. Now I see where other people are trying and really missing that mark and still getting stuck in that, like, come work with me. Uh, I think I might be great. Don't you want to work with me? But now, because I'm not sure now you're not sure. And, and like, it doesn't connect And these great people who have amazing things to offer can't have the traction. So, um, so thank you for your books. I'm so glad yeah. that you're out in the world um, and that you've taken what you've been sharing with your community and your clients and really put them in these, these packages that are really accessible for anybody, right? Like six bucks, seven bucks, we can have a copy of any of your books and, and have all the tools that can really move people forward. I think it's really, really powerful to like chime into that. You know, when I was writing this series, I was trying to figure out like, what is it from me that people really need to know? And there's this space as, as humans where I think we kind of like pull back into ourselves and it's kind of like, well, yeah, that's not really important. And I was like, no, it's all important. Like you just need to hear the shit that no one's saying. And so I love it because book number one focuses on the money mindset. And I, I really strategically looked at how am I gonna position these, right? Because if you can get leads, but you don't know how to close a sale and or you can close a sale, but you're really crappy with your money mindset, you're gonna notice that the money will come in and it will go out just as quickly as it comes in. So I thought like, have it all is book number one. It's really, let's get your money mindset right. Not only does it give tangible steps on how to make money like daily, like let's do the work daily and you're going to see money coming in, but let's set you up for that future success. And then the second book is really about playing in the field of possibility, right? A hundred day journal prompts. Yeah, right there. And that hundred day journal prompts is really about, you know, what is this field of possibility? Like, where can I dream differently? How can I discover how who I really am is helping me to show up in the way that I need, but also how it's blocking me? And so I find a lot of coaches get into this mindset space of like, think like this, say this, do this. And I'm like, no, let's just explore where we are. And then the third book, Coded for Money, Flow, and Fame, is really about this marketing piece. It's just kind of like this shut the app up, sit back, like do this, 
don't do that. And I think that book really came from this mindset of working in marketing for, you know, so long and wanting to just take clients and be like, you know what? You just don't touch your business. It's cool. Just don't touch your business. I'm going to step in and I'm going to run it and I'm going to take it over. And then when it's all organized and like put together and there's a structure and a foundation and like a thing in place for you, then I'm going to give it back to you. And it was kind of like, people just kept chasing these shiny objects of grow your Instagram to 5,000 and book it. But if they're the wrong 5,000 people, what does it matter? And so, you know, really looking at that and then, you know, getting excited for book number four, which is officially written and ready and on its way to go. But this book is really all about the dreaming bigger than we've ever dreamed before. And then not even looking at how do we align or how do we find passion, just what are the kick-ass action steps? Like, do this, then do this, then do this, then do this. Don't do that. <laughs> and so really allowing people to step into it. So you're right. For a couple dollars, people can get access. We were chatting and I kept saying, like, my biggest fear is that people won't need to hire me anymore because the books literally give it all away. And I learned to love that because I can help so many more people. So appreciate just getting a chance to share that with everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Um, before we wrap up, I want to ask you, because this, this podcast always is focusing on supporting women who are not where you're sitting right now, but they want to be about to publish their fourth book, right? They have this urge, but need the encouragement, need the support to take step after step towards writing towards making, um, having an offer to accompany the book that they're putting out, all of these pieces. And Red Thread really is watching all and supporting women at every step of the process. But I wanted to ask you um, what support, what advice, what, what about working with a team and collaborating has been really helpful and powerful in a, in, I want you to share that so that women can hear it and then take the next step that they need to take. Yeah, I think that's really an important piece of it, right? Taking what we've learned and, and moving it forward out into the world. And so I hear a lot of people saying like, yeah, I'm writing a book. And I say, oh, amazing. What's it about? I don't really know yet. Or I hear this. I really want to write a book, but like, I don't really know what to write about. And so the only logical thing, or I've written a book and nobody's buying it, which that one I've heard a lot. The only logical thing that comes to mind for me, being someone who teaches authority marketing and talks about raising yourself up as an expert above your peers. And like, you know who the go-to person is. This, Go to the go-to person, go to the publisher, go to the expert. I, I'm a firm believer in always hire people that are smarter than you because they're going to get the job done. Like I never would have gotten, I remember having a conversation with you and you're like, listen, if you don't get this done, it's just not happening. Like you could just forget it. Here's the deadline. It's, it's just not going to happen. And I, I needed that like, hey, wait a minute. I got to get this done thing. And then there's that space of, okay, Sarah, and here's how we're going to do it. Right. And I think that when you know, you have that story, or even if you think, if you just think like, Hey, maybe this would be a cool thing to write a book. You know, when you're out at the bar with your friends or, you know, at yoga class, or when you're just having that conversation with like your girlfriend who's had this like horrible crap going on with her husband and her life. And she's lived all these crazy wild things. And she says, I should write a book. And she's saying it so simply, like, it's not really a big deal. Like push her to do it because that message is going to impact someone. And I think that getting people connected with the experts like yourself, Sierra, and your amazing team is how we bring it to reality. It's, this space, I'm like, I'm going to do it myself, but I'm either going to not really do it or I'm going to do it 
half ass or I'm going to do it and get it done and then look back and go, Oof, I should have done that differently. You don't have to. Like, we don't have to live in that space. It's, it's a choice. And I think that stepping up and, and giving our voice the strongest platform, which is the professional platform that has the backing and has the support and has the right positioning and has the right strategy, is the most important way you can value and honor that voice and that story and that message you have instead of, I'm going to half-ass it with the world because I just think that maybe it might be, you know, quick, quick and dirty, right? Maybe it might be quick and dirty and out there. It's not quite, quite so simple. There's a strategy and, and steps in place in having that support and that community, not only that can just say like, here's what you need to do, but you guys have been really incredible with like, like, wow, like we're going to celebrate this and we're going to pause and we're going to like be in this moment. And I'm just like, oh my God, like I wrote a book. That's really freaking amazing. So yeah, I think getting connected to the expert is always my go-to strategy. Thank you for that. It has been such a pleasure working with you, supporting your publishing journey, both because you're amazing and you're the expert in what you do, um, yeah. but right, like recognizing that you're the expert in what you do is is the key to it. Working. Yeah, and and then having the support for the stuff that you're not an expert in. We don't all have to know everything. We don't have to learn how to do everything. Yes, we can learn. Do we want to? Right. Some of the questions you ask in the hundred day journal is like, what's important is getting it done important? Is learning how to do it and doing it all by yourself important? Taking six years to do it when you could take six months, what's important? Um, and then showing up for what's important and making sure that that happens. Um, Red Thread is all about supporting that woman who's like, I wanna write a book. Oh, I should just write a book. To getting them where Sarah's sitting right now that whole journey and maybe you have a story, maybe you have this desire to step into this space that Sarah is talking about, like authority marketing and really learning that your story is worth sharing. If you aren't ready to publish four books in a year, um, we also have the collaborative author books, this idea of writing a chapter, learning the whole journey, going through that whole process and still being a published author on the other side, working much more collaboratively and having a lot of this done for you with other women in the same process. Um, I want to share with the audience that Sarah, you and I are doing a masterclass for all of our authors about authority marketing and how to use, whether it's a chapter or a whole book, to really accomplish what you've been talking about. Do you want to take a minute and just give a, a plug for, for that awesomeness that's coming up soon? Yeah, I think this is a really important piece to know. Um, first and foremost, like why are you writing the book, right? Are you writing it as a healing journey? And so how do we make the most out of that? Are you writing it as a healing journey to impact others, to help them understand that they can heal? How do we raise you up? as an expert, as a person that people should pay attention to, as a person that people should watch so that you can achieve it, right? And then there's kind of that other side of it that's that, that business side, which is, you know, for myself, how do we get the knowledge out there but take it so, I want to say one step further, but it's so many steps further to generate leads and generate clients. Like I know the first book, Have It All Went Out. It went out as a book. I turned it into a course. I ended up taking the course and it ended up being like a secondary collaboration course with someone. I think that book in turn has brought in almost an extra $56,000 into the company. And remember all three of these, it's less than a year that they've come out. In fact, it's really only been what, five months, six months? I don't even know. I'm losing track of my days. But how do we make that happen? How do we use the book to get you on stage? How do we use it to book your clients? How do we use it to 
help you, you know, travel the world and have book signings and meet and shake the hands of people that you want to connect with? How do you get those conversations where people message you and say like, hey, you changed my life. And then, you know, what's the potential of what you can do with that? So I'm really looking forward to launching that masterclass and really diving into, you know, the space of it's not just a book. It, it's really, it's a legacy piece. And more than that, it's the impact that it makes on the reader, but it shouldn't make an impact just on the reader. It should make an impact on you too. And so how do we bring that to life? A lot of people aren't really aware of the full true potential of what a book can do for them from the business side and from that internal healing. And so let's bring it all to life. It's my book. <laughs> that is so, that's so Im important because everyone that comes to me is like, I want to help people. I want to change people's lives. And, and the writing process is this quite personal process where through your sharing, through your telling, whether it's a very personal story or a more, um, more related to your business book like yours, it's a transformation, transformation for the author. But then of course it's a transformation for the readers. And I think so many, so many authors are, they get tangled up in the emotion of it, the logistics of the writing and publishing their book, but they often miss this potential that you're talking about and, and or really don't understand how books are profitable. Women always ask, they're like, so how much money am I gonna make from the sales of my book? Well, you're not going to make very much money from the sale of your book because you got to print it and you got to share the price and that it's just the book sales is not where it's profitable but what what you and i are going to go through is going to blow people's minds to really support them to think about what they're sharing and how they can help more people differently and so i'm so excited i'm so excited to do that with you and share that with uh, the audience says because I think it's going to be game changing the way that like fifty six thousand dollars in in clients in in, now. in additional revenue from a book, right? That's I like to look at it as this. I call it like the island strategy, and I, I teach this a lot. You've got two islands that are you know near each other, and you're on this one island, and it's just got one palm tree. Okay, you've got a towel and sand. And then out in the distance, you see this other island that's got, it's full of palm trees and there's people laughing and dancing and there's music and a bar and a hammock. And, you know, there's like a yacht hanging outside of it and waiters walking around with champagne. And you're like, damn, I want to get over there. And so the bridge in which you get to there, that is the book. It's the how. How do I get from here to there? You use the book and you use the strategies that come with the book to get you over kind of to this other beautiful place that you can be in your life or your business. And so it's the activating piece. And, and I think that that's really important that, you know, people understand that the book activates the potential for more. And, and I want to add to that. It's not, you can write and publish a book and not have it get you all the way there, right? If you don't do the, the right things sort of and have that awareness from the beginning, you can absolutely miss the boat. And you mentioned the people who wanna write books, who have written books and they're like, but it's not really being what I thought it was gonna be. It starts that at the beginning. <laughs> they have fallen. It starts absolutely at the beginning and having this broader concept. So, um, I will be sharing more about that. I will make sure invites are in the show notes. You can get Sarah's books on Amazon. I highly recommend all of them. And <clears throat> if you are one of the people that we have been talking about, you have a story that you wanna tell, you are ready to become a published author and take that journey. We have uh, the collaborative author books. You write a chapter. We have writer's retreats that are amazing. We have the Story Incubator course that really teaches you how to get 
your story and your book written in so much less time. Women who attend that say that like, I'm writing with ease, I'm writing with grace, I can write my whole book in a month. Um, really just unblocking how to tell your story. And then Sarah is always supporting our authors as well as being one of our authors to make sure that when you're writing, that you're really supporting the people you need to be supporting and tapping into the full potential and activating your book and your publishing process. Sarah, bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on book three. I can't wait to be celebrating book four. With you. <laughs> Me too, I'm excited. <laughs> and that I'm ready to be done so I can continue on to the next book. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks so much. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it.